Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry. This is Scott Carter. The University of Florida tries to stop a five-game losing streak this week against Georgia Southern. The Gators will face the Eagles. Try to get something going with this team heading into that season finale against Florida State. Put up a pretty game effort last week in Columbia, South Carolina before falling 1914. Had the lead most of the game, just couldn't hold on. Where's the situation with this team right now, Scott? Yeah, I think they wanted to kind of, like you said, play off of last week. I mean, they did play well, especially in the first half. Took an eight-point lead into the halftime. And, uh, you know, we saw Schuyler Morningweg making his first start. They were obviously conservative with some of the things they were asking him to do offensively. So if he does start uh, on Saturday against Georgia Southern, like uh, a lot of folks expect, I mean, they've talked about maybe, you know, opening up the passing game for him. Still obviously be heavy with Kevin Taylor and Mac Brown in the running game. But, uh, you know, Georgia Southern comes in here. It's their big game of the season. Uh, so, you know, they're going to have to play well. Florida is to uh, snap that five-game losing streak. Let's speak a little bit about Calvin Taylor. He had a really good game last week. He had two long touchdown runs, working out of that wildcat position. Is he getting more comfortable? The coaching staff is obviously becoming more comfortable with him. Yeah, he's definitely looking more comfortable. I mean, a career high, like you said, 96 yards last week. A couple of direct snaps, which was a, was a new wrinkle that Brent Pease talked about, you know, getting those guys some, like, carries out of the direct snaps. And uh, he just looks more confident now. He's showing off his natural running ability. As the coaches like to say, you know, he's acting or uh, reacting more than thinking out there. And I think we're seeing that. And, uh, you know, he needs to continue to do that, obviously, while they uh, are still kind of unsettled at quarterback with the morning wag in there and maybe uh, Tyler Murphy, Maybe he gets back before the Florida State game. We just don't know yet with his sore shoulder. But certainly they're going to rely on uh, Kevin Taylor a lot. A good running game will certainly go a long way for the Gators. What we know about Georgia Southern is they have a really good running game. Yes. 350 yards a game they average, which is tops in their classification. Yeah, one thing uh, talking to uh, Will Muschamp this week, I mean, he's a defensive guy. and He knows that the triple option, you see it so rarely nowadays in football. I mean, a defensive coach, it catches the attention. He's tried to stress that to the players. It's going to be something a lot of these guys have not seen, but it's very successful with Georgia Southern. Like you said, 350 some yards rushing per game. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of yards uh, between the tackles and outside and uh, Florida is going to have to find a way to slow that attack down. You know, I would expect Georgia Southern to have some success in the running game because they do that so well. But Florida is going to have to find ways to stop drives and get the ball back for their offense and see, uh, see if they can uh, do something with it. Absolutely have to be disciplined when you're playing the triple option. In 1996, Georgia Southern came here, rushed for over 300 yards in the second game of the season. Bob Stoops' second game as University of Florida defensive coordinator of the year. The Gators won the national championship, but Florida won that game 62-14. to Maybe there'll be a similar result. Gators can certainly hope for that. For Scott Carter, I'm Chris Harry. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.